Hey, it's Adam. I was just standing here at my sink and my foot got wet. I was standing in a puddle and so I just realized the uh, dishwasher door was leaking. There's a little drip right here and it forms a puddle. So I'm going to show you where the problem is. At least with this model, yours might be the same. This is a, uh, a Whirlpool Gold Quiet Partner. Anyway, they have these screws here and they're a little loose. You can see it looks fine right here, but if you push down, you see how it's sticking up? Well, that's enough that when it closes against the door, it creates a little gap right here and water can drip out. To tighten it, you're going to need to use a, a security bit. This is a T15. I recommend just uh, getting a whole set of these bits. You can see all kinds of bits. And uh, they're organized by size. I got this from uh, for about 10 bucks, I think, 10 or 15. Anyway, so I'm going to take it out. So here's what you need to use. This is thread locker. They make different kinds, different brands. The red is more permanent. Blue is temporary. This is a bunch of glue that we're putting on right now. Put it back in the hole. Tighten it pretty good. And then that should hold for a long time. And if you just tighten it, instead of putting the glue on, it's just going to happen again. I know from experience. Look at this one. This one's loose too. So, I'm just taking it out little glue on the thread. If you're sure that these aren't your problem, check the gasket. It's this rubber lining that goes all the way around. See if there's uh, any cuts or breaks in it. Um, if so, you might just need to replace it. You, you could just need a new uh, seal. Or sometimes if you have like a spatula or something that was just in the wrong way, in the wrong place, blocking your door from closing all the way but that would be a one-time leak usually and uh, if it's a consistent leak you either have a problem with your seal or there's uh, screws sticking out of your door and that would be the case if you have a puddle like here at the corner now if you're if you take off this part here let me go ahead and show you I already took off one screw right here. I'm going to take off this one on the other side. It's stuck on something there. There we go. If you're getting a puddle of water way under here, then that could be a pump problem, some other leak, and that's a totally different um, fix, obviously. So just for reference, this is a Whirlpool model GU2455XTSS0. SS at the end of model numbers usually just means stainless steel or you know they might have a B for black or a W for white. Anyway I hope that's helped you if so please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks.